Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 what day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo! Good morning. Today is Wednesday, October 9th. My name is Brianna Sheehan with your morning news. Today is an activity day. Sixth grade strings, seventh grade band, and eighth grade chorus will meet in the music wing during last period today. Picture retake day will be held on Thursday. Applications are now being accepted for this year's Outstanding Young Woman Scholarship Program. In addition to being a fun-filled learning experience, the Outstanding Young Woman Program awards its winner a cash scholarship and over $30,000 in tuition scholarship assistance from various colleges and universities. Any junior class girl interested in participating in this year's Outstanding Young Woman Scholarship Program should turn in an application to Mrs. Spangler by October 28th. The National Honor Society will be having a meeting today after school in room 216. College representatives will be here from Lock Haven University today and Penn State Altoona on Friday. Lock Haven University is having an open house on Saturday, October 26th and Saturday, November 9th. Allegheny College of Maryland Somerset County campus is having a fall visitation day on Thursday, October 17th from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. There will be a mock crime scene workshop at Waynesburg University on Saturday, October 19th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Altoona Beauty School is having a visitation day on Wednesday, October 23rd from 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. See the guidance office for more details. Grove City College is having an open house on Saturday, October 12th and Saturday, November 9th. Today for lunch we are having a chicken fajita with cheese, shredded lettuce, diced tomatoes, corn, chilled pears, and orange and jello with topping. Tomorrow for breakfast we are having an apple turnover, assorted cereal, milk, and juice. Thanks and have a great day. SAT Question of the Week with Angie. The following sentence contains either a single error or no error at all. If the sentence contains an error, select the one underlined part that must be changed to make the sentence correct. If the sentence contains no error, select choice E. Silvery fish, such as sardines and Atlantic herring, being masters of camouflage, using their silvery skin to stay invisible to predators from nearly every angle. The error in this sentence occurs at B, where the present participle being creates a sentence fragment. A main verb are is needed instead. And that's your SAT question of the week. On this day in history. On October 9, 1940, in Liverpool, England, John Lennon was born. He is a founding member of the Beatles, a songwriter, artist, and a peace activist who had success as a member of the Beatles and also had success as a solo artist. Some of his hits include Give Peace a Chance and Imagine. He was married twice, first to Cynthia Lennon and then to Yoko Ono. He was murdered outside his apartment building in New York City on December 8, 1980 by Mark David Chapman. And that's what happened today in history. Welcome to Words with Chad. Today's word of the day is pastiche. Pastiche is a noun. It means a musical, literary, or artistic work that imitates the style of previous work or is made up of selections from different works. It also means hodgepodge. The director's new murder mystery is a clever pastiche of the 1950s noir films he, he watched as a boy. And that's words with Chad. Hi, I'm Jazzy J here with your three C's. Are you a team player and do you really thrive on being involved in a team setting? Then consider becoming a team assembler. These folks work as part of a team to assemble an entire product or component of a product. 
Some fields using this kind of a person are motor vehicle manufacturers and plastic products manufacturers. Experienced team assemblers can average about $29,820 a year. Hello, I'm AccuWeather Ashley here with your daily forecast. What did the lightning bolt say to the other lightning bolt? You are shocking! Today will be mostly clear with a high of 62 and a low of 43. Thursday will be partly cloudy with a high of 64 and a low of 44. Expect plenty of sun with seasonable conditions with high in the lows and mid 60s and early morning lows in the lower 40s. We will stay clear and dry much of the week. Thanks and have a wonderful day. Good morning, I'm Ramblin' Ryan here with your sports highlights. Good luck to the boys and girls junior high soccer team away at Southern Fulton, the varsity cross country team in their meet away at Forest Hills, and the boys varsity soccer team at home against Southern Fulton. In the Pittsburgh spotlight, the Pirates and the Cardinals are tied in the NLDS at two games apiece, heading back to St. Louis. Pittsburgh took a loss in Monday night's contest at PNC Park 2-1. Rookie Michael Walker was dazzling the Bucko Bats all night as the Pirates could only manage one hit, a solo home run by Pedro Alvarez in the eighth inning as St. Louis evened the series. Matt Holliday would bring in the only runs that the, card, that the Cards needed, a two-run homer off Charlie Morton in the sixth inning. Morton took the loss, giving up two earned runs on three hits with four walks and four strikeouts in five and two-thirds innings, innings of work. Trevor Rosenthal recorded the save for the Cards. The starters for Game 5 tonight at Bush Stadium are Garrett Cole for the Bucks and Adam Wainwright for St. Louis. Whoever wins tonight will play the Los Angeles Dodgers in the National League Championship Series as they eliminated the Atlanta Braves last night in four games. And on this day in sports history, it was on this day back in 1915 when Woodrow Wilson became the first United States President to attend a World Series game between the Boston Red Sox and the Philadelphia Phillies. Boston would eventually go on to win the World Series in five games. That's all for sports today. I'm Ramblin' Ryan, and have a great day.